Have you ever wondered if doubt could be a good thing? It may sound counterintuitive, but doubt in its essence carries a dual nature. Yes, it's often seen as a hurdle, a stumbling block, a negative. But let's flip the coin and look at doubt from another perspective. Doubt can serve as a valuable catalyst in our lives. It pushes us to question, critically analyze, and challenge the status quo and established norms. It provokes us to think outside the box, fostering innovative perspectives and encouraging us to explore alternative solutions. In essence, doubt fuels our creativity. Moreover, doubt triggers self-improvement. It nudges us to acknowledge areas for development and to seek enhancement opportunities. It promotes objectivity and empathy as we learn to grant the benefit of the doubt to others. It underpins rigorous research methodologies, bolstering our skepticism and promoting intellectual growth. However, like any tool, doubt must be wielded wisely. It can be a double-edged sword. So doubt can be a tool for growth, but it has its dark side too. Let's delve into how doubt can catalyze life. Doubt in its positive form is a compelling force that can push us toward personal growth. It encourages us to question established norms and to seek alternative perspectives, kindling the flame of creativity. It's that little voice inside our heads that prompts us to think, is there another way? Could there be a better solution? This creative exploration of alternatives is the birthplace of innovation, where new ideas and concepts are conceived, and it doesn't stop there. Doubt also fuels our journey of self-improvement. That internal nudge says, I can do better, or there's a skill I need to improve. This recognition of our areas for development is the first step in seeking enhancement opportunities. Embracing doubt in this way is not about self-deprecation, but acknowledging our potential for growth and taking steps to realize it. Now, imagine giving someone the benefit of the doubt. This simple act promotes objective assessment and empathy. It allows us to see beyond our biases and preconceptions, fostering understanding and compassion. Doubt, in this sense, is a bridge that connects us to others, promoting a more inclusive and empathetic worldview. And finally, let's not forget the role of doubt in rigorous research methodologies. Skepticism, a refined form of doubt, is the cornerstone of scientific inquiry. It keeps us from accepting information at face value, prompting us to dig deeper, to question, and to verify. It's the driving force behind our relentless pursuit of knowledge and truth. In each scenario, doubt is a powerful catalyst, sparking creativity, self-improvement, empathy, and rigorous inquiry. It challenges us to see beyond the familiar, question, explore, and grow. Doubt, when harnessed correctly, can be a powerful tool for personal growth and development. But what happens when doubt turns inward? It's like a dark cloud that rolls in, casting a shadow over the landscape of our minds. It's the realm of self-doubt, where our internal dialogue turns from constructive to destructive criticism. This form of doubt can be paralyzing, leading us into a cycle of second-guessing and indecisiveness. The fear of making the wrong decision can be so overwhelming that it stops us from making any decision. We become stuck, frozen in our tracks, unable to move forward or backward. Self-doubt can also be destructive. It chips away at our self-esteem, leading us to question our worth and capabilities. It can make us feel like we're not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough. This self-devaluation can lead to a downward spiral of negative self-perception and self-defeating behaviors. Moreover, self-doubt often leads to a persistent need for reassurance and a constant seeking of validation from others. We start to rely on others to alleviate our anxiety, to tell us that we're okay, that we're doing fine, but this external validation is fleeting and ultimately unsatisfying. It's like trying to fill a bottomless pit, a never-ending cycle of neediness and dependency. Self-doubt, then, can be a significant obstacle to personal growth if not managed well. So, how do we balance doubt and confidence for personal growth? Well, like a tightrope walker, it's all about finding that sweet spot between the two. We've discussed how doubt can catalyze critical thinking, creativity, self-improvement, objective assessment, and rigorous research. But we've also warned against the paralyzing effects of self-doubt when it turns inward, leading to a constant need for reassurance. The key lies in managing doubt effectively. Use it as a springboard for questioning norms and exploring innovative perspectives, but don't let it consume you. 
Acknowledge areas for development but also recognize your strengths and achievements. Be open to alternative solutions but remain grounded in your core principles. And remember, confidence isn't about knowing it all. It's about being okay with not knowing everything and still taking action. It's about standing firm when you're right and being humble enough to change your stance when you're wrong. In this balance, doubt and confidence can coexist and even complement each other, fostering a cycle of continuous personal growth. Remember, doubt can be a tool for growth, but it's essential to keep it in check. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this.